This film attempts to clear up some of the mysteries of Unit A5 in the poker rubric, Unit Chunking. So segmenting or chunking course content is part of course navigation. It means you've divided your class into units. Your reviewers will be looking for evidence that you've organized your units as a whole so that students can easily find assignments, tasks, topics, and expectations. How you do this is up to you, but the, the reviewers will be looking to see that you have visibly distinct modules or units that students can easily follow and understand, that you've included visual cues to help students di differentiate between modules, subheadings or numbers or naming conventions or text headers, and that each unit has a clear ending and beginning, especially if students are nexting through the content. So I'm going to show you a couple of examples of how you might begin to think about chunking or organizing your modules and units in Canvas. And you are free to use your own creativity uh, to create your own way of organizing your units. So here's an exemplary example of course organization or chunking. So this teacher has divided their units into weeks. Week one, week two, week three, week four, and so on. So the students can look at any point, uh, and as long as they know what date it is, they know which module they should be inside. But this teacher has also divided each week into readings and assignments. So the students can also look immediately and know what they should be learning and what they should be doing. And even more ingenious, this teacher has also linked each unit to the textbook that they're using. So not only is it divided into weeks, but also chapters, and then subdivided into readings and assignments. So easy for students to look at and navigate. Absolutely wonderful. If you open up any one of these modules, you'll also see the same, the student will find the same uh, format. So every module uh, for reading starts with a preview and a welcome, and it links everything that they're reading to the learning objectives, and then the students can proceed through the readings just by clicking next. It's wonderful. And uh, it's exactly the same in week one, as it is in week five, we have the welcome and we have the learning objectives and we have the readings. Note also how this teacher is using indentations and subheadings to help their students navigate through the course material. That's another really exemplary way that they're uh, uh, using text and uh, how the page is laid out to help their students know what's going on at any moment in the class. Here's another way that units have been chunked for a different class. So they're numbered and they say what week this or weeks the students should be inside of them and they're titled or given a topic. If you open up any one of these modules, you will also find the same uh, format. So in this case, there's an introduction and a conclusion. So if students are nexting through, they know when the class be begins and when it ends, when this unit begins and when it ends. And then there's uh, tasks and readings sort of within that, all with titles and Usually it's readings at the beginnings and assignments towards the end. If you open up a page in this class uh, to any introduction page, in, you will encounter the same format as well. Um, what the students are supposed to be learning, what assignments are due when, and what tasks they need to do. 
and even some of the learning outcomes. So segmenting your classes adds clarity. And if you're doing it right, your students understand on a macro level how the course is organized. And they can easily find in any given week their assignments, tasks, and due dates. They can understand when one unit ends and another begins, and even how they all might fit together. Unit chunking takes the mystery out of finding assignments and readings and frees up your students' minds to learning and understanding. So as you're working through the poker rubric, ask yourself, how am I using modules to make things clear for my students? How am I using modules to make it easy for my students to find their assignments and understand how they relate to the readings? How am I using modules and units so that students can uh, uh, navigate from week to week and find exactly the tasks that they need to be doing and what order they need to be doing them in. So that's the big secret to A5. How are you using your modules and how are you making them easier for your students to understand?